die, here it comes. I give you your incredible X. Okay, last first 10 of the night. Well, Sentient 12, they don't. They don't. They nerfed everybody else and then they boosted or they kept Captain Marvel like she is in the comics. So that's that fuck out of here. If they went with that logic, then they shouldn't have made fucking Captain Marvel way stronger than everybody else when she's not way stronger than everybody else in the comics. Okay. Um, Captain Marvel is actually good versus Chris, but not when you have lockdown supers, because you cannot tank supers. He will get a level three after this. Why is he going for a mix? He's an idiot. Jaco's an idiot. He's not going to get the hit on her now. Yes, blitz blow to the chest. Nice, power stone in the back. Let's get some good damage on Thanos. Do not tag this bitch in. Why are we seeing her on the screen? If she gets hit, she's dead. Okay, you were mad lucky there was no birthdays right there. You are super lucky. Okay, good pressure. Captain Marvel's back on the screen to die. Thank you. You killed him, though. We're not being greedy. You love to see it. Did he miss that? Okay, I was about to say, did he really miss that right now? Okay, good shit. Erebus looking like he can easily win this unless fucking Thanos makes a fat comeback right here. Oh, I would have just supered. I would have definitely level one super right there. Okay, this might be a dead panther. No, it's not going to be dead. Oh, it is. He's going to level three. Good tag. Good counter switch from Erebus. He knew. He knew Thanos could pick up. Okay, way to protect your mans. Oh, no. Yeah, that was not a good blitz blow. That's a free punish for Thanos. Okay, we want T'Challa off the screen, please. T'Challa off the screen, please. Nice. Good check. Erebus up 1 0. The past is not important. Only the future. Nah, Hydro. Definitely. That's actual cap. The only, the only Hulk that's like that is Savage Hulk. A lot of the other Hulks are good as fuck at fighting. Yeah, but see, this is the thing, Coggins. This is the thing. I would love for Rogue to take Captain Marvel's powers, but I'm also not down for Rogue being anywhere near as powerful as Captain Marvel is now. So... They're going to have to come up with some weird shit. Man, Calahad does not keep up with the times, huh? He's acting like you can just, you can take over a company like Fox and just, just put the X-Men in the next day. He's not thinking that these movies were planned out like 10 years ago. Okay, Erebus is clapping right now. We might even be able to kill Thanos off here if we can reset him. Okay, no. That was a good, that was a good box from uh, Jayco. <laughs> what if they make Rogue into Jean? Instead, she doesn't have the Phoenix Force. She just has binary. That would be fucked up. I would be pissed. You're a fan first? You're a fan of Incredible Hulk, motherfucker. That was Disney's, I mean, that was the MCU's, like, first movie besides Iron Man. Hop off the dick, yo. That shit was trash. Okay, Erebus is deleting this dude. 
Erebus is deleting Jaco. He said, oh, you're going to post this on YouTube? Okay, we're going to post a 10-0 the reverse way. Damn. This dude is getting bodied, folks. Giggity, giggity. Giggity. All right, Erebus up 2-0. Maestro is dope, and that's really what I hope they do in the MCU. Best. I hope they've been bitching Hulk for the last, like, five movies so that one day we can see Maestro. And it's, like, impactful. They would probably merge him like they do all shit. They would probably merge Maestro with, like, World Breaker Hulk. But I would totally be fine with that because that's probably the only way we're going to ever see a live action, so... See, Kalahad says he's a real fan. He says he's a real fan, but he doesn't even know that people can fuck with Maestro. Because Maestro is still, like, way more, le less powerful than, like, World Breaker Hulk or Immortal Hulk. Because he still has, like, Bruce Banner brain. You want to know who Hulk got stomped out by as Maestro? Like, actually stomped out by? Hercules. Hercules stomped his ass out. And you want to know why? Because Maestro isn't, like, the most powerful Hulk because he doesn't have access to, like, the unlimited strength. Hercules stomped this dude. And uh, Hercules would get fucking destroyed by uh, a mortal Hulk. And uh, Hercules actually took an L to fucking World Breaker Hulk. Okay, Jaco, Maestro ruled the world in some bitch shit. Like, ab absolute bitch shit. Basically, I don't even want to give it away, but like, he didn't, he didn't survive because he was the strongest there was. Like, he got hidden away by MODOK, and then almost everybody died, which was dumb as fuck because he should have survived anyways, but he, he wasn't even out there to have to survive. And then there wasn't that many superhumans afterwards, and he's stronger than basically all of them besides... Besides Hercules. I don't know, Bess. I like Immortal Hulk more than World Breaker Hulk. Immortal Hulk is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, World, World Breaker Hulk is definitely a close second. World Breaker Hulk is just the one that everybody knows because everybody knows about World Breaker Hulk. The weight on my shoulders gives me strength. Well, yo, Sentient, they definitely should have done a fucking Greek Gods movie over a fucking whack-ass Eternals movie. I would have been so much more interested in Greek shit than fucking the Eternals. Fuck the Eternals. If we saw Zeus and fucking Hercules in the MCU because we already got the Norse Gods, that would have been hard. I would have loved it. And like Ares, Ares is hard as fucking Marvel too. Ares got those dope ass fucking axes and shit. Ares was hard. What's wrong with Eternals? The movies the movie was trash. What are you talking about? Yeah, Ares helmet is dope. It, okay, so so I can hate on them then because they're not even real things, Coggins. That's like not liking a certain type of animal. You're not allowed to like, you have to like every animal. Okay, Jaco looking like he's going to tie it up. Did you watch Eternals yet? Or is it not on Disney Plus yet? Yeah, the connection looks sus, Erebus. I will say that. It's definitely looking sus. Yeah, I mean, Thanos is technically an Eternal, but he's also like a modified, like a fat modified Eternal. Oh, no. 
Oh no, this is pissing off. This is pissing off uh, Erebus, I can tell you that. Now fuck Icarus. What a bitch ass bitch. Well, yeah, but he's stronger because he also modified the fuck out of himself. And shit. But there's a lot of different Thanos stories. I don't know. This is a thing, Vess. It seems like they're setting it up. It really seems like they're setting it up. But I'm just letting you know, William Hurt is looking like he's on his deathbed. No cap. He's looking like he's on his deathbed. So, signing up for that, like, I don't think he'll be playing the Red Hulk for that long. No, she Hulk, I just, I, I'm more interested to see how they bitch Hulk again. I know they're going to do some sus ass shit where, like, Hulk is getting his fucking ass beat. And then she Hulk has to come in and she has to save the day. Like, get out of here with that shit. But you know it's gonna happen. You know it's gonna happen. Uh, was it, was it the fucking, was it that comic, Reckless? If it was that comic, then no, I didn't peep it, because I heard it was like a clone or something. It was like a Hulk from a different dimension, so I don't, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. If it's not like 616, then I don't really care. That was a good-ass counter by Jayco. All right, are we going to see a solo Thanos comeback? He's going to try to scoop. Nope, he went for an overhead. Damn. All right, let me refresh this. Yeah, Abomination is confirmed in the show, Vess. Abomination is confirmed in the show. Today, we fought as one for the glory of Valconda. All right, good shit to Erebus tying up 3-3. Yeah, Red Hulk is pretty dope. I just, this is the thing. I love all the Hulks, but I just like when they're in the right hierarchy. When they actually make it that Hulk is actually the strongest at the end of the day, that's what I like. Like, that's why I always liked Hulk growing up, because all his rogues can beat the fuck out of Hulk. Like, literally stomp Hulk out until he gets mad enough, and then he can stomp them all out. But, um... In the MCU, he's just, he's weaker than everybody, it seems like, so who gives a fuck? But yeah, that's why they brought back Abomination for Shang-Chi, because they're going to use him in uh, She-Hulk. Kalahad, have you even been using the new Immortal Hulk fucking emo? Yeah, we have a Hulk used to meant something. Now we have a Hulk means like, okay, we got a jobber. He's going to take an L to somebody weak as fuck. You just donate the gifted subs and then you fucking, you don't even give a fuck about the channel, but you can I mean, you uh, hang out in the chat for hours. Damn, yo. Over. Yeah, we got your boys. We got your boys in there. Oh, damn. Is this going to be the first double kill? Nah. Yo, yo, yo. I know you're a family man, Kalahad, but you're in here sucking the dick of Incredible Hulk 2008. So let's stop the cap. These emotes are literally better than that movie. Facts. Facts. 
Oh, Erebus, you almost had that. You almost had that. Well, you gotta love Rick Jones, because without Rick Jones, like, he was just testing, and then fucking... He got the shit. I like where he actually saved somebody from an actual Gamma Bomb. Those whack ass emotes are almost as whack as your opinions here. Here, let me put on the Kalahad voice for you. Those whack ass emotes are almost as whack as your opinions. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Your voice is actually deep? I don't know. The only people I've ever seen defend the Incredible Hulk 2008 was... According to my calculations. ...type dude, so I don't know about that. That's sus. Hey, yo, Betty? Betty was hard as fuck in uh, Immortal Hulk. She was, she was, obviously she's Red She-Hulk. But Red She-Hulk in Immortal Hulk was literally like a harpy. If you know what a harpy is. I know you should know what harpy is because you, you're into Greek shit. But she had wings and everything. She was kind of like a gargoyle and a hulk at the same time. She was hard. Happy is cool as fuck. Happy? Happy Hogan press tech? Do you want to get banned from the chat? Oh, Harpy. I was like, yo, this dude thinks Happy Hogan is is OD? What the fuck is this dude smoking? Playtime is over. The strong shall hunt the weak. That is the law of nature. Alright, we got Solo T'Challa. Solo T'Challa, he can do it. All Chris really needs is a scoop, though. Oh, yep, and he got it. Yep, dead. Yeah. Mission complete. Let's return to base. To be honest, when all the Hulks started coming out, I'm like, okay, they're kind of overkilling it right now. Like, we already have She-Hulk. Now we got Red She-Hulk. Now we got A-Bomb. But I do like all of them. But still, Hulk and Scar are my favorite ones. Ready. All right, Jake, go halfway there. Five points remaining. Five points to win. Yo, Press Tech, that shit is mega garbage. That shit is garbage, yo. See, that's when I start, like, hating the shit where they have all this World War She-Hulk and World War This Hulk. It's like, shut the fuck up, yo. Like, get out of here. Yo, Chow Mein, you know what's fucking hilarious about that statement? She-Hulk is kind of like a slut in the comics. Like, she's almost a slut. She sleeps around heavily. Heavily. She's very promiscuous in the comics. I don't know how. Like, I have no clue because, like, half the dudes that she did shit with, they're not even, like... They're not even uh, powered beings like Tony Stark and shit. Like, so it's kind of weird, but like, I, I don't know how as She-Hulk she's already she's down with that, but yeah. Yeah, but at least Juggernaut is like mad strong. Just just regular Juggernaut, like he's just mad strong. 
But she's like a lot of regular dudes. Ooh, that was an overhead. Okay, so look at y'all again. Only about 60% box for uh, Chris, though. Let's see if you can hit. Okay. You're going to have to block a lot, Erebus. Nice. Good shit. Level one. Yes, I like this. It's big brain shit. You're going to fly him up there. Waste a lot of the storm. Good shit. Erebus should be able to easily do the same. He just needs one hit. He needs one hit, and uh, Jago needs two. Okay. I don't think this is going to kill. It is a 9K, though. It's going to be close. Oh, this is probably dead. No, he drops it. He drops it. Oh, yo, you got to watch your toes. You gotta. I know the connection is not good, but what we got to deal with. Yeah, Kalahad, I, like, this is the thing about Juggernaut in, like, the old NBC games. Like, why in the fuck did they make that dude so big? Like, why in the fuck was he so big? Like, it never made sense to me why the fuck Juggernaut was so big. It makes sense why Hulk was smaller than him because they definitely with, went with the Professor Hulk. They definitely went with Professor Hulk. But still, like, Juggernaut was way bigger. Like, what in the fuck was going on? Nah, nah. Miss me with that shit. Miss me with that shit. Hulk's beat the, the Juggernaut multiple times in the comics. You like the Professor Hulk look? I don't know. Professor Hulk in it. It's straight, but like you gotta have a costume where he's like Savage Hulk. I mean, to be honest, the 90s, the 90s Professor Hulk look was actually straight. Um, the end game Professor Hulk look is fucking garbage, though. Okay, this is really good for Erebus. He needs to kill Thanos right here. He needs to kill Thanos right here. Oh, it's so close. Okay. No. Okay, just kill him, kill him. Do something. Oh, wow, we got this short hop. You know Summer was salivating at that short hop right there. That's what he loves doing with Chris. Okay. Okay. Level three, the real one. Good shit, that's Jimmy Neutron, baby. That's going to be a dead Chris. Get him the fuck off the motherfucking screen. Get him out of here. Wow, it didn't kill? I don't think she actually got the real one then. Nice, way to kill him. Oh, yo, that was a good counter. That was a good-ass counter. I will take everything by my hand. Yeah, this connection, though, this connection looking, uh, looking sus, so I can't really, uh, fault for Erebus for complaining about it. Yeah, it's kind of getting out of hand. It's kind of getting out of hand. Erebus put those first two on the board, and then uh, Jago's been on a streak. Did you really see say A, Kalahad? This dude loves capping. I'm surprised he's such a Hulk fan when he literally just Steve Rogers all day in my chat. What's up, Tops? How you doing? Okay, this match is actually looking really good for Erebus, other than the fucking stuttering.
Uh, restaurant or fast food, Xiao Ming. And what do you consider chain? Like, like more than a few? Yeah, tops. The majority of people have definitely said water. I think you just have way more, way more power if you control water than fire. Fire would be dope, but I mean, if you can choose between the two, it's gotta be water. Oh, sorry, I ignored your, or I didn't ignore your question, Rainbows. I was thinking about it, and then I, and then I got caught up in the match. Uh, Rainbows, it's 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 back and forth. Sometimes it's, I mean, most of the time it's bad. I should say most of the time it's bad. There's too many teleports. And when you're getting hit from chains from full screen that you can't see, that that's when it's bad. But every once in a while it's playable. And so it should be about the same for Erebus and me. In theory. Alright, also ask the question again because I forgot what it was. You said something about ratio teams. I'll answer your question in just a second, Chow Mein. I want to get to Rainbows because he asked that shit mad long ago. Okay, Erebus, you got to get on the board right here. Nice. Can we kill? Can we kill, though? Nah, this ain't killing. Yeah. All we need is one hit, though. Do not let him make this comeback. Do not let it happen. If Jaco and Erebus were playing these teams in a ratio tourney, whose team would be worth more points? It's kind of close, yo. Chris really boosts Thanos, but Thanos is not good. But Thanos is better than than everybody on Erebus' team. So I will say, well, I, to be honest, Carol with power and Thanos with power are around the same tier to me. Uh, but Black Panther is better than Chris, so I'm gonna have to say Erebus. But slightly, it's definitely not like an easy answer. You have to think about it. But yeah, I, I would I would have to say Erebus by a slight amount. But to be honest, if we're taking Stone, it might be Jacob. Space is way better than power. So I don't know. It, it's like, it's almost dead even, yo. Because usually ratio has to do with stone. Okay, that was a stomp. That wasn't even close. To be honest, nah, you know what? I'm changing my answer. It's Jayco. It's Jayco. You want to know why it's Jayco? Because this. Carol and Panther have almost no synergy at all. I know that, that you don't take that into account with ratio, but what you do account for in ratio is the storm. And space storm is way better than power. Like, way better than power. So I'm going to have to give Jayco the, the higher points. All Jaco is doing is super tag function into Thanos damage into box. That shit's better than anything Erebus' team can do. I hope this kills. Good shit. Okay, now Erebus is clapping. He didn't like the womped out animation. He did not like that one bit. He said, Jaco, you're about to get stomped out. Ooh, this dude is getting pieced up. Kill him. Kill him in this combo just to disrespect. Pass him down there to T'Challa, level three. Okay. Nice. Kill him. Damn. Don't worry, Erebus. We'll play it for you. You stomp this dude. Oh, 
Okay, Erebus makes it to the five point mark. Five points remaining. Five points remaining. Five points to win. I would love to see Erebus make this comeback. You've been scheming what you're taking home since this is your last shift in the office? Oh, I thought you meant like a bitch, Tops. I'm like, you're scheming on what you're taking home. Okay, this is just going back and forth. Is this just going to be stomps back and forth? Okay, look at this shit. Oh, 10 rings, sentient 12. That's not even a question. 10 rings. 10 rings. I'm going to always take something that has like natural abilities over fucking tech. But are you talking about MCU 10 rings? Are you talking MCU 10 rings or or comics 10 rings? Oh, MCU. Ooh, that's I might have to go Star Stark Tech, yo. I might have to go Stark Tech. Stark Tech would make me a lot more rich. A lot richer. The MCU uh, 10 rings are hard as fuck, but um, they really don't seem that useful to a regular human. And I, it, I'm obviously not Shang-Chi in the fucking, in the fucking when I'm dead. I mean, to be honest, they didn't really explain what the Ten Rings are in the MCU, so maybe I'm speaking out of turn because the Mandarin obviously got some type of fucking shit other than just what it looks like they did. Because he was mad old, so we obviously don't know what the Ring's full power is. So maybe the Ring's. But how they were using them in the movie? Stark Tech. Okay, don't spend the two, Erebus, and you're good. Don't spend the two. Why are we spending two? We're losing the game if we get hit right here. Yep, it's game. He shouldn't have spent the two. He was straight. He was straight until he fucking spent it. Damn. Okay, solo, solo Carol. If, if this was MCU Carol, she could do it easy. Yeah, the, the rings could definitely be Kang's. And if it is if it is Kings, then you know they can do a lot more than what it looks like they can do. Good matches, yo. Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. I will take everything by my hand. Okay, folks. Thank you for chilling with me. Thank you for having a a good relaxing night where I wasn't playing. Yeah, the connection was shit. We definitely played the connection shit here. We're going to go raid, uh, raid that hazy. I know a lot of Marvel fans.